So I'm Jordan Claridge, and together with Max Schultz, we teach knowledge, economy, and society uh, from the Middle Ages to modernity. Now, one feature that is perhaps a bit unusual about this course is that it's taught by two lecturers in the classroom, and they're always there at the same time. So there is an opportunity for students to identify also differences in approach um, of two teachers or two professors who come from different ends of the discipline. One of us is a medievalist, the other one is a modern economic historian. So this course basically has two guiding questions. How has technology changed the way we live? And how have humans managed to raise levels of productivity in the very long run in a range of different environments? We pursue those questions by studying, first of all, the production and diffusion of knowledge. Second, the translation of such knowledge into technical change. And third, the relationship between technical change on the one hand and economic development over the long run on the other. So we also have kind of a diverse assessment in this course. We don't just have an exam. We have a research essay that students will do over the course of the term which allows you to pick some aspect from the really long run stuff that we study and explore that in more depth. Because essentially what we're interested in this course are big ideas you know, that come from a really long-run study of history. So, for example, we could talk about how the introduction of the stirrup in about the 8th century led to the creation and diffusion of feudalism, right? So what you have is a relatively small and cheap piece of technology. It's a stirrup that allows you to stand up on a horse, right? But what this does, in turn, is allows warriors to wear heavier armor, and then be more successful in battle using different kinds of weapons and this revolutionizes warfare and creates an entirely new social dynamic that spreads across Eurasia. A second element that we believe is of particular interest to students that it is a seminar-based course that is student-led in terms of how the discussion is run and the input that students make through their own presentations. I think one of the big themes that this course addresses is essentially how we got to where we are today and what the role of technology has been in a transformation from a situation, we'll say in the Middle Ages, where people live relatively short lives, you know, relatively less wealthy than we are now, and now people are living longer and healthier lives, there's a lot more economic activity in the world. How has technology transformed us from you know, state A to state B. One of the big questions in economics and in economic history is why are some countries rich and others poor? Now what we hope to address uh, in this course is to account for the extent to which differential rates of technical change contributed historically to the development on the one hand of rich economies and on the other hand, the problem that some economies remained poor over the very long run. 